Hello, I'm Brian from Tugo Systems. Um, I'm out in my garage right now, and I got the uh, the new shovel, uh, the Lijo, out here. It's in my vise, and I want to demonstrate something uh, for the fact that uh, I did have a failure today uh, from Dawn. Uh, she was uh, basically chopping wood with it in the extended position. Now, in the extended position here, it's really not designed. Uh, to be chopped in this position because this shaft threads on to another shaft uh, right down here on the collar and then there's threads on the collar and when the handle is completely down and threaded it threads onto this collar and, and it strengthens the whole the whole shaft and then you can beat the hell out of it basically um, at that point but um, there might be concern that if you're trying to pry something like a rock or, or if you're shoveling with it, it's like, hey, will it hold up? And that's a good point. So um, I want to demonstrate that. So I got it in the, in the vise, and I want to crank on this thing. I'm going to get some leverage on it, and, uh, and it should fail. If it, uh, so we got the blade bending there, <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's not failing. Uh, um, I'll show you where it failed at when you when you basically uh, chop with it in the extended length. Um, I'll splice that in with another video. I'll show you exactly what happens. But if you have this down and locked in. Uh, in the shorter length, like like this, and then tightened, it tightens up on those threads, and uh, you can just you can just do whatever with it. But when it's in the extended position, it becomes vulnerable to high impact. So when you start hitting things with it, um, at that point, this part will fail if it's in the extended position, if you're hitting, if you're applying a lot of force, sideways force to it, and uh, you know, chopping wood or, or whatever you're gonna be doing. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate that it wouldn't fail if if you're trying to pry something up and trying to pry rock out. I mean, I'm tweaking on this thing. So you can see the blade, I mean, it's bending right there, right? And, uh, and you would think that would fail, but it doesn't. And it's because it doesn't have that abrupt sideways force um, being applied to it when you're when you're this hitting the, the bejesus out of it. So if you're digging with it, you know, rock on. You know that blade's gonna bend way before that collar that collar fails. So I just want to demonstrate that. <clears throat> It's a pretty tough little shovel. That's one thing I, I tested this pretty extensively. That's one thing I didn't test was chopping with it in the extended length. I did a little bit, but not enough. And it's because I like to chop with it in the shorter length. And uh, I kind of fell into that trap and I didn't look you know, outside the box. And uh, Dawn, <laughs> uh, that's the first thing she did and started Chopping with it um, from uh, uh, you know right out of the box there and with the with the length extended and uh, we uh, <laughs> we got a failure right away so I was in a little panic mode there didn't know if I had a defective model but it's not it's just it's not designed to be um, to have that kind of 
impact in the extended uh, in the extended length. Anyways, um, I probably will go ahead. I'm not going to sell this shovel, obviously. I mean, it's not bent. I mean, it came back to position pretty nice, actually. You know, with tweaking on it so much, you can see it. <sighs> but um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and keep abusing this thing. I'm going to go get some bricks, uh, some papers that I have, and some uh, soapstone um, that I have. And I want to I want to beat on it. I'm going to show you guys uh, that the blade will hold up. Uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I have my shovel, the Lijo. Uh, that's named after my son and his friend, actually. It's uh, Liam and Joe. And I thought it was appropriate because they helped me test this thing. And I thought it was kind of cool, too. I like the name. So, um, I have it shortened. Uh, I have it tightened down here, uh, right in this area, so you don't see the threads. And it's ready to do some pounding. So, I have some soapstone there, and then I have uh, some paver. So, this isn't obviously <laughs> something you should be doing, uh, you know, out in the woods. I don't know why you'd be, you know, knocking rock around. But, anyways, I'm just going to show you what this thing's capable of. So, you know, there you go. I don't necessarily like doing this uh, just for the fact that I didn't tighten this down enough. Hold on a second. Uh, just for the fact that it uh, makes a mess in the garage. I'm hit it right here. Take a look at that edge. I mean, there's not, got a few little dents in here, but I mean, what do you expect, right? And then uh, do the same here with the soapstone. I don't have, any, I don't have my son around to help me videotape. Now, one thing is when you uh, you chop, it may loosen up a little bit. It depends how tight you, you, you get it. Uh, so you might have to periodically uh, tighten up this collar as it might loosen up just for the fact that it tightens to the left. If you strike it like this, it's basically loosening. If you strike it more like this, it's tightening so it won't, uh, it won't loosen up as much. So, I'm hope I'm getting this in the video, and uh, so let's take a look at that that edge. Yeah, let's tend it up a little bit. Not bad. But I have probably rock flying everywhere. I'm just hoping I don't break a window. <laughs> That would be a bummer. And I'm gonna do one more here with this brick. Now we gotta tighten up the handle. Anyways, you get the point. Well, I, I actually, I want to break this thing out. <laughs> so, there you have it. Um, it works pretty well. You know, the edge is a little, a little chipped up there, but, I mean, what do you expect? 
And this is demonstrate that it's still still unfolds or unscrews, I should say. And extends. So there you go. And that is that is the Lijo. And the compass should still be working. I know that was a concern for some folks. Spin that baby around a little bit. Oh, there we go. Still working. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hope this uh, answers some concerns and, uh, you know, about the Lee Joe shovel. Uh, this thing is pretty tough. I meant it uh, to be used this way, um, you know, in the most extreme case. But uh, uh, don't chop with the handle extended because it will fail right here once you get too much stress on that collar. The collar doesn't fail, it's a tube that connects that first set of threads. There's two sets of threads. The second set, the big tube, this part screws into and it makes a strong, one continuous strong piece at that point. So, thank you for watching.